What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The Hidden World ends the How to Train Your Dragon movies on a high note, and it shouldn't disappoint those who have been waiting for the final chapter in Hiccup and Toothless's story for the past five years. But what does this mean for How to Train Your Dragon 4? After his father's passing, Hiccup is still getting used to being the chief. Burke has gotten too crowded as a result of the increased number of dragons that he and his friends have saved. They now have to deal with Grimmel the Grizzly, a dragon hunter who has killed all the Night Furies and wants to kill Toothless to make it official. For safety, Hiccup must guide the villagers and dragons to a new home. To lure Toothless to him, Grimmel the Grizzly uses a White Night Fury, or Light Fury. He falls in love with the Light Fury, and she helps Toothless in uncovering his secret powers. <laughs> She also takes him to a secret dragon society where everyone recognizes and worships Toothless as the leader. Grimmel, regrettably, finds the villagers and captures Toothless and the Light Fury, which provokes the other dragons to follow them. Hiccup is encouraged by Astrid to go and save his best friend and never give up on himself. The dragon riders are led by Hiccup to battle Grimmel's army. The dragons are saved after they defeat his army, but Grimmel escapes with the Light Fury. By the time Hiccup and Toothless get to him, Grimmel has already tranquilized Toothless. As the two fall toward the ground, Hiccup fights Grimmel and tells the Light Fury to save Toothless. While Grimmel is falling to his death, the Light Fury saves Toothless and then goes after Hiccup. Hiccup decides that even though the dragons are safe, it would be best for them to return to their own world where they are safer. Sadly, the Burkians must say goodbye to their dragons. Later on, Hiccup and Astrid get married and have a son and a daughter. They take a boat to the Hidden World, where they meet Toothless and the Light Fury, who have their own little dragons. Before taking flight as a family, Hiccup and Toothless reunite and meet each other's children. Hiccup then says that until the dragons can safely return to live among humans, Burkians will guard the dragon's secret. <laughs> How to Train Your Dragon 4 is not expected to be released anytime soon, despite how happy the ending may be. It was last mentioned in 2014, and a return to this planet might be confusing. Dubloy appears to be pleased with how a set of three concludes, and he does not appear to be interested in being required to continue the establishment's operations at this time. Regardless of whether DreamWorks and Dubloy react to their statements, How to Train Their Dragon 4 is unlikely to be released anytime soon. It takes a long time to plan, write, and create a movie that is animated. The Dragon movie franchise was finished in four years between the first two installments and in five years between the second and the third. It is expected that a similar gap will occur for How to Train Your Dragon 4, with the most optimistic earliest release date of 2023. According to the timeline above, the first film is released in 2010, four years after the second film, and five years after the third film is released. The creators of How to Train Your Dragon 4 have made a sequel to turn this film into a series of movies. It's anticipated that How to Train Your Dragon 4 will hit theaters sometime in 2023 or 2024. Without a question, the most important factor to keep in mind is how long it will take to complete the script and film work. There are many characters in the movies, but the one that audiences seem to like the most is Toothless, who is Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III's Night Fury. If you recall from the end of the series, he has evolved into the Hidden World's Alpha Dragon, which was a truly epic scene. By successfully starting a family, he also became Light Fury's mate and the father of the Night Lights Dark, Prouncer, and Rough Runner. Hiccup Horrendous, the main character in the How to Train Your Dragon series, is voiced by Jay Brarukel. He is the son of Valka and the late hooligan leader, Stoic the Vast. In the first movie, his ancestors made him the tribe's chief and successor when he was only 15 years old, but we followed Hiccup's story throughout the movies till he was 30. He has a dragon friend named Toothless, and through their incredible journeys, we have seen them both mature as a duo. Astrid Hofferson is a female Viking warrior of the hooligan tribe's clan Hofferson, voiced by America Ferreira who was the same age as Hiccup in the first film. So we've seen Astrid and Hiccup grow up together until they reach the age of 30. Okay, okay, you win, you win. You always win. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into. Uh -huh. Astrid Hofferson and Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III did not get along, but she was not a fan of dragons, and she ended up being Hiccup's lifelong confidant and dedicating her life to the flying creatures. 
These characters are expected to appear in How to Train Your Dragon 4. For now, we do think it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Although it's not confirmed, we do expect some of the old cast to voice their character, like Craig Ferguson voicing Gobber, Jonah Hill as Snotlout, and Kieran Elliott as Hork the Haggard. It is less likely that any of the cast members will return to their roles given that The Hidden World was the series' first installment unless a sequel, a uh, spin-off, featuring them is officially announced. Time to stop worrying about problems out there and start sorting out the ones right here! Okay, okay, I I'll think about it. The How to Train Your Dragon trilogy's third and last movie, which is currently playing in theaters, takes viewers on the next adventure with Hiccup and Dragon Toothless. A year after the events of the previous movie, Hiccup has become the chief of Burke, and the story picks up with the hidden world as he is growing into his leadership position. However, as the dragon population continues to increase and dragon hunter Grimmel is given the mission of taking down Toothless, who is now the Alpha, Burke's future is put into question. But Toothless is more interested in learning more about the new light fury he meets than in finding a new home for the Vikings. Although it might not seem like it at first, How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World's ending is a very happy one. But even though the main plot wraps up with the emotional final goodbye, where all the dragons left the new Burke village to go live in the hidden world, a jump forward in time walks back some of that ending, and leaves a chance for more stories. The storyline fast forwards a few years, revealing Hiccup and Astrid to be adults who are now married and have children of their own. They travel to the Hidden World's entry point and find Toothless there with the Light Fury and their own baby dragons. The movie officially ends with more mature versions of Hiccup and Toothless reuniting, leaving the door open for more adventures in How to Train Your Dragon 4. A 22-minute holiday special titled How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming was released in December 2019. It was 10 years in the future and continued the story after the Hidden World epilogue. It would only make sense to pick up where we last left off in the franchise ever gets a fourth entry, which is extremely unlikely. It might also be helpful to concentrate on the kid characters' stories. But it wouldn't make sense to go on after the trilogy's satisfying and heartwarming conclusion. This does not rule out the idea of spin-offs. There are some well-crafted characters in the trilogy, and there are plenty of opportunities to use them in a variety of fantastic stories. Additionally, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. There is room for more stories because the series is an adaptation of Cressida Cowell's How to Train Your Dragon, a collection of 12 books. See you in the next video.